Hey, how's it going, you guys? Welcome to Swift in Minutes by TremontProject.com. In these videos, what I'll be teaching you is Swift, Apple's programming language, um, created for iOS and OS S X development. So with Swift, what you can develop for are iPhones, iPads, iPods, MacBooks, um, the Apple Watch, and any other Apple product that will be coming out in the future. First things first is if you want to use Swift, what I suggest you use is Xcode. So for you guys with Apple computers, just go to um, the App Store, put in Xcode in this box, and your screen will appear as such. Click this button for you. It may say Git. For me, it says Open because I have it on my computer already. After you click that button, let the computer do its thing of downloading Xcode. And that's the easiest way for you to get it if you're a Mac user. If you guys have PC, um, here's a video that I found, which is a, some other YouTube channel. I'm not associated with it whatsoever. But in this video, the guy gave a great tutorial of how to download Xcode in Windows. He has almost 200,000 views and... 659 likes so I think it's a pretty credible source if that video doesn't work for you then here's a quick read also I have um, the URL down low and it says how to download slash install Xcode for Windows 7 and 8 PC go through this short read and then voila you'll have it so also if you guys want to learn a bit more about Swift before jumping into this language full force the Wicca page is the URL for the Wicca page is down low, so just go to the Wicca page and read up about it if you have any concerns whatsoever about the language. Um, when Apple when Apple released Swift, they also released a free book which told you the ins and outs, ups and downs of Swift. For you guys with Macs, go to iBooks, put in Xcode here, and it'll be this first box for you. For me. It isn't this first box since I already have the book downloaded to my computer and I use it. So for you guys that don't have it, just go through iBooks and it'll be easy. It's a free book and um, go ahead and get it. For you guys that don't have Macs or don't have the um, operating system on your computer, you can go to this URL, which is down low, of course, and you can get the book. They have a way for you to get it if you don't use Mac. It's a free book again. I won't stress enough how free it is. Like it's absolutely zero dollars. So please take advantage of it. For you guys um, who don't have Macs at all and you're interested in getting Macs, I would say the most efficient way for you to get it is to get a Mac Mini, which starts at five hundred dollars. Or you can do what I do, which is I um, I bought a MacBook Air because they're pretty cool. The Shalinder, I think, is a great product. And they start at $900. Um, if you guys aren't as fortunate enough to buy those computers, then just go to Craigslist and put in Mac, and you'll have plenty of um, results that will come up. See, as low as $99. I won't go through the rest of them. I'll leave that up to you guys to do on your own. What you'll mainly learn from these videos are... Um, Swift's syntax and the syntax is a programming languages vocabulary and grammar commands special words and punctuation used to build a program so any apps you use or any programs you may use on your computer whether you know that they're programs or not on the back end of those things is syntax which is the way that the computer the what it's syntax is a language in which the human can speak to the computer and the computer can understand. That's the easiest way to put it in lamest terms. All of these URLs are down low, so check them out if you need so. If you already have Xcode and you already have the book and you already have a computer and you're already set on learning this program and language, you don't really need to do any outside research on it, then ignore all of these URLs. But if you don't, then these are the assignments that I suggest. Download Xcode. It's a required assignment because if you don't have Xcode, then going to my second video or my third video will be a waste of your time. You need Xcode in order to do what I'll teach you to do. And then download the book. It's, it's optional, 
But if you want to brush up on your skills, then, I mean, why not use the book that comes from the source that created the language? I think it's the best way of going by it. And um, don't go by it. Thanks for tuning in to Swift in Minutes from TremontProject.com. Baby.